Hey, I'm West Geary, the Chief Technical Officer here at Momar Incorporated, and today I'm going to demonstrate Nutridis Lemon, a powerful disinfectant, with this Foamit electric misting unit. This is an electric misting and fogging unit capable of producing 15 micron droplets, which are excellent for wetting out large areas, surfaces on lar in large areas, getting into a lot of the nooks and crannies uh, and places uh, like that. So. Uh, I'm going to put on the proper PPE and then I'm going to show you how to demonstrate this unit. But before we do that, first thing you want to know is when this, when you get this unit, it's very, very easy to assemble. It comes with a complete owner's manual. Uh, the assembly takes about five minutes, doesn't take any, anything more than a screwdriver. And um, it also has very detailed operating instructions. The first instruction you'll read um, for operating this unit is going to tell you to read the, sa the safety data sheet for the product that you're applying. And so, a uh, safety data sheet for Nutridis Lemon is shipped with every single order. So make sure you read that safety data sheet too. All right, I'm gonna put on my proper PPE and then we'll get started with the demonstration. So you'll notice that I'm wearing latex gloves, goggles, uh, respirator, and a Tyvek suit. So even though Nutridis is relatively safe with a neutral pH, the active ingredient is a quaternary ammonium chloride. And that is uh, an active ingredient that can cause some real sensitivity to mucous membranes that are inside your nose, inside your mouth, inside your eyes. So we wanna take the precautions that we need to keep that out of our uh, mucous membrane areas, okay? You also don't wanna breathe it. it uh, any kind of surfactant, any kind of a disinfectant, when you breathe it in droplet sizes, uh, it'll, make you, it'll make you cough uh, and it'll provide some respiratory irritation. So we just wanna take the precautions that we need to prevent us from inhaling this very, very fine mist that we're about to produce. So before you add the chemical, you want to go ahead and fill the tank with water. So I've already filled this tank with 15 gallons of water. And then Nutridis dilutes one ounce per gallon for most misting applications. So if you're just applying this as a surface sanitizer or as a regular non-porous surface disinfectant, you're going to use one ounce per gallon. If you're applying this in a food plant, you're going to use four ounces per gallon. All right, so for today's demonstration, we're gonna use one ounce per gallon because most surface sanitizing and surface disinfection is using one ounce per gallon. 15 gallons of solution need 15 ounces of product. So I've already got my 15 ounces measured out here. I'm just gonna simply add that to the solution tank. And then we'll close the tank click the lid shut and we're going to move the cart back and forth to mix that solution inside. Once we have the solution mixed, we're going to use our quant test strips to make sure that we've reached the appropriate concentration of Nutridis. For a one ounce per gallon, we're looking for 660 ppm of quant in the solution. So it looks like we are just past the 600, almost to the, between the 600 and the 800, so we're good. We'll use our, second, uh, our secondary container chemical identification tag to mark this tank as containing Nutridis. And this tag can just be connected, can be connected right here on the handle. Now we're ready to go. We're going to turn it on. We're going to wait for it to get to 85 PSI, and then it should shut off automatically. Now we're at 85 PSI, we're ready to fog. And as we fog, it'll continue to maintain pressure by turning on automatically. So when you're fogging, you'll notice on this unit that there is a blue button and a red button, and a blue line and a red line. The blue line brings in the compressed air from the unit. The red line brings in the compressed chemical or the pumped uh, chemical. Uh, so it's important to always press these buttons simultaneously. They'll send solution up through the red line, the chemical solution, it sends air up through the blue line. They mix in this chamber and then they're forced through the nozzle at 85 PSI to produce a 15 micron droplet. That's a droplet size that you want in order to be able to spread out and wet, and wet the surfaces appropriately when you're using the unit. So a few more important notes about this unit. This unit applies at a rate of 8.9 fluid ounces per minute. 
So when you fill this machine up with 15 gallons of used solution, it can run for over three and a half hours. In that three and a half hour period, when you're applying it at that rate, that's enough to treat over 2,250 square feet. So you can, get a lot of, you can get a lot of surface area covered in a relatively short period of time in a very thorough manner with this unit. A lot of people ask if this unit will leave the floor slippery. And I guess that's possible if you overuse the product or overuse the unit. Uh, so you'll want to take precautions. If, if you do end up with slippery floors, you'll want to use mark, you know, uh, mark off the area, keep people from walking over the area. And then when you're done, just mop up that area, you know, you rinse it off with water uh, and wait for it to air dry. You can use uh, fan blowers and things like that on the floor as well to speed up the dry time on the floor and prevent slip hazards. But when used properly, uh, floors should, uh, should not accumulate very much uh, of the solution and whatever does accumulate should evaporate pretty quickly. This unit is excellent for applying Nutridis, Ready, Set, Go, and First Mate to a variety of areas, including locker rooms and restrooms, transport trucks and cargo containers, offices and schools, warehouses and retail stores, medical facilities and laboratories, food processing plants, and institutional kitchens.